My name is Kateřina. I'm a teacher of Czech for foreigners and this is the lesson five from a course designed to get you from absolute zero all the way to the level A1 in Czech. In this lesson, I will take you through all the Czech personal pronouns. You know, those I, you, he, she thingies and the verb to be in Czech, sloveso, beat. And after this lesson, you will actually be able to create your first full sentences. Hooray! And remember, this course comes complete with printable exercises, as well as homework and other resources. You can find the link in the description. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with my new lessons. Take a pen, print out the exercises from the link down below, and let's get started. What you can see here are the personal pronouns. Let's read them together. Singular. Ja, ty, on, ona, ono, to. Plural. Me, vy, oni, one, ona. This is probably quite straightforward. Remember to always differentiate between the genders, male, female, and neutral, in the third person singular. It's the same as in English, he, she, it, on, ona, ono. What is different in Czech, however, is that we differentiate genders in the plural third person as well. So when we speak about some things or some people that are male, we write Oni, with a soft I. Also, if there is a group that is mixed genders, we say Oni. It's because Czech is a little bit genderally unequal and it just picks the male form because... because. When we speak about things or some people that are female, we write Oni, with a hard I. And when they are neutral, we write and say Ona. What do you say if you see three men like this? Oni. And if you see genderly mixed group? Yes, oni again. When you see these, which personal pronoun would you say? Oni. And when you see a bunch of kittens crossing the street? Ona. Great. But careful about one exception. If there are a couple of kids, you would use a feminine form, oni. Why? No idea. Exceptions, exceptions. Everyone hates them and every language has them. I prepared a lot of practice for you in the homework section of your exercise sheet, but now let's add the verb to be, sloveso beat. Please read with me out loud. Singular. Ja jsem. Ty jsi. Jseš. On, ona, ono, to je. Plural. My jsme. Vy jste. Oni, oni, ona, jsou. Now an important note. When we speak in formal situations, we use the second person plural, vy jste. For example, when you want to use formal language to say you are a professor, you would not say ty jsi profesor. That would be considered rude. You would simply say vy jste profesor. And how does the sloveso beat look in the negative form? For example, if you want to say I am not something, we only simply add two letters in the beginning of the verb. Nebit. Let's read these together. Negative, singular. Ja nejsem. Ty nejsi. Nejseš. And here, careful, because the third person singular just changes. Why? No clue, but it's just a vocabulary thing for you. So, he, she, it isn't would be in Czech, on, ona, to, není. Negative plural, my nejsme. 
Vy nejste. Oni nejsou. Those are all the forms and now it's time to practice. Take your exercise sheet, close all the materials and add the English translation to the exercise number one. If you're not sure about any, you can always go back and check this video. Our final task will be a listening practice. Listen to these three little texts and add the missing words. If you don't understand all of it, that is completely all right. There is quite a lot of them missing, so be prepared. You will need to listen a couple of times, maybe. Ahoj, já jsem Dominika. A ty? Ahoj, já jsem Martin. Těší mě. Mě taky. Odkud jsi? Jsem z Itálie. Ty jsi z České republiky? Ne, já jsem z Anglie. Dobrý den. Dobrý den. Vy jste student? Ne, nejsem. Jsem doktor. Odkud jste? Jsem z Číny. A vy? Jste z Čech? Ne, nejsem. Jsem z Ukrajiny. To je Viktor. Odkud je? Je z Rakouska. A to jsou Lukáš a Simona. Oni jsou z Velké Británie. To jsou Kateřina, Tereza a Lucie. Oni jsou z Polska. So, have you already added all of them? Now it's time to see the answers. Great job! This lesson was focused on getting you acquainted with the personal pronouns as well as the verb to be. You should now be able to understand it when you hear someone say Já jsem or my nejsme. Today for homework, see your exercise sheet and do all the exercises there. They will help not only to remember all the forms easily, but also will enable to use sloveso beat easier in spoken language. Second, Complete lesson number five in the online vocabulary app to practice all the vocabulary from today's and the previous lessons. I hope you are enjoying learning with me. Let me know in comments below if you have any questions and don't forget to jot down your homework there as well. And if you're enjoying learning with me and would like to support this project further, then go ahead and check out my Patreon. I will leave a link in the description. Keep learning, keep studying, and I'll see you again in the next video. Yiki, ahoy!